Awesome. Hey guys, Ab Sale with Alliance RV. Uh, just want to showcase our new 28BH. This is in our All Access series. All Access is all about accessibility, so we're focusing on pin weights and length. Um, in this particular layout, you're going to be at 31 feet, 11 inches, coming in right around 9,700 pounds. Uh, this is a double over double with a, with a great size bedroom and kitchen. Uh, a couple unique things here too is we went 101 inches wide on this floor plan. Uh, what's unique about that is that you're adding more square footage without the length. So uh, just a couple things I want to show you. Uh, we'll work our way in. Really cool bump configuration here. Chris, you'll have to, sorry, the lights are not, we don't have any power yet, but we're getting there. No, but you're good. We have plenty of daylight. We're good. It's sunny, right? So as you can see, we've got a great size double over double. This is a 56 by 74 on the top and bottom. You can see over here, we've incorporated an, a, a door on the off door side. And, and what that's doing is that is allowing us access to this massive storage area. This will go back a little further, but we've got the mattress on here. But this is great for bikes, maybe that barbecue grill, just all that stuff that you're using outside that, you know, maybe is too big for the pass-through compartment. So just a clever idea. Uh, that was some feedback we got and we were able to incorporate. A couple other cool things here. Uh, just to my left, I kind of want to talk about this slide box. Um, this is 75 inches tall, which is a rare find in this category. Typically you're in that 68 to 70 inch range. So it's how we get this massive atrium window that opens up. Um, speaking of massive, check this pantry out. Again, in a, in a floor plan like this, you don't typically see a floor plan, or excuse me, a pantry that large and that deep. And I think that wide body really plays a role here. Uh, another thing that we got uh, some feedback on was, yeah, we see so many 80 inch U-shaped dinettes. And I think, uh, you know, perception sometimes is reality, but the reality is that an 80 inch U-shaped dinette, it's very difficult to see three, four people. So we wanted to come up with a clever and comfortable way here that served a couple different purposes. So you'll notice we have two bench seats here, and then we have a legless dinette below us. But what that allows us to do is now incorporate an ottoman that we can take and spin out. And what I like about this is, I think you could get six people here. Oh, absolutely. Right? And, yeah. But what it also does is it saves us enough room to be able to incorporate that massive pantry. Um, I got to give a shout out to, to, to Will and Jen. Jen helped me with this. I went to her, I had some questions. She's, yeah. she's got some great ideas. And I said, how do we get creative here? So she played a big role in that. Um, so this, this, was, this was a great idea. And if you guys don't know who they are, we will tag them down below. Oh, They're great. fantastic they people, are. great friends of ours. And that's what's great about, you know, Alliance, right? It's, it's the, the consumer feedback that we get that helps us put out a better product. Right. Uh, and we're, we're uh, you know, relentless improvement, uh, but we keep getting this great feedback and, and we're implementing it. So we appreciate it. So thanks to, to everybody who helps us with that. A um, couple other key features here. We talked about the wide body, but if you look down this hall, what you'll his typically find in a, in a north-south configuration like this, Chris, is you'll find a step that you got to take to get into the bed. Yeah. That's eliminated, right? So we've got a full flush bedroom floor here. And again, wide body, I've said that numerous times, but this is where it plays another role. We're 25 and a half inches wide on this side of the bed and 19 on the opposing. So very inviting bedroom for a, you know, a, a fifth wheel that's under 32 feet that could sleep potentially, you know, 10 people. That's incredible. I think so. Uh, yeah. Just to your left in the bathroom, you'll notice a, a ton of storage, a great size shower, porcelain toilet, epoxy countertops moving forward. Uh, so we were able to jazz that bathroom up a little bit for you. But awesome. yeah, that, this is a cool floor plan. Holy moly. So how does, is, well, let's talk about the ladder because that intrigued me. What's the, how's that thing set up as far as, is it in a track? Or, or? Yeah, so it, so this is what's cool about this. It's in a track. Now, we are doing one change. This ladder is going to get a little bit taller. It's going to probably run to this top riser here. But what's cool about this is we've got storage on the inside of this bunk. And then we've also got storage on the top, but there's a door that accesses the top, uh, excuse me, the, yeah, the top here as well. So you can get to that cabinet two different ways. So if you're, this is where you're sleeping for the weekend, you know, you've got easy access to your items, but you can also do it from here. Yeah. And this is a trifle as well. So great sleeping area. So that's a sleeper sofa plus mm -hmm. three bed or two beds there plus the master. Geez, and that does that? No, that's a free floating slab. Correct. Fold down. Correct. Uh, what solar comes on this? So solar would be a three hundred and twenty watt panel, a two thousand watt inverter, 
a 20 amp MPPT charge controller, and then we have five dedicated outlets. I think what's really cool is that we're always properly prepping our coaches, mm -hmm. right? Adding solar to a coach that isn't properly prepped is very labor intensive. <laughs> so what we've done, and this will be on any, any coach, is we're running a chase to the roof, we're prepping for the inverter, and those outlets are already hot. So it becomes a plug and play process for you, in my opinion. Uh, makes it a lot easier to, to expand or add. So solar's getting so big and everybody has their own configurations on what they want. Right. So we've made that easy. That is awesome. Um, another thing I wanted to point out quickly, again, in this category, this is an unseen feature to find solid surface countertops, right? The focus is always weight, weight, weight. Um, yeah. I, I, you know, I, the reality is we're probably 300 pounds heavier than most, but wide body, taller slide boxes, solid surface countertops, those are massive features that I don't think change your tow vehicle. Yeah. So. Yeah. And now, does the TV pull out? Yes, it does. Yeah. And that's a great feature because we're always, as consumers, we're always pulling those out and doing it ourselves. So that having absolutely. that. Absolutely. Chris, there's even a little bit of storage back on both ends here. Um, I see it a little better here, but you know, there's storage is king, right? There's, there's always, we're utilizing storage when we're camping in every, every spot. So yeah, we, it's, we it's, offer that in most avenues. This is probably a little smaller simply based on the length and size of this coach. But this is great for, like you said, you know, maneuvering around. Yeah, and depending on where you're sitting, everybody always wants to watch the TV. Well, you have the ability to sit in different locations and still be able to see the TV yeah. head on versus looking over your shoulder left or right, which is always a difficult thing when you're in some of the coaches because things 100%. will be off to your 45. Yep. Yeah. And then Windows Galore, right? I mean, that's what I think Alliance does well. That, I was going to say, that's kind of, that's what we always talk about. It's like Atrium Windows, Windows absolutely everywhere. And we don't, for us, we don't find that we lose any R value. We're not getting too hot or too cold, but yet we have visibility and view everywhere we go. Agreed, agreed. You know, and I, and I you know, today's, you know, it's supposed to be about 70 degrees. It's a great day to open the windows. Yeah. I can feel the breeze coming through the door. Uh, every single window in here opens 50%. So um, it, it, that's, that's a big advantage. Uh, and it's something we've heard early on and we've implemented into every Alliance product. So. Yeah, I can tell you firsthand when we were on RVM Plugged, yeah. we have a friend that has a different brand that has pop-out frameless windows. And they look beautiful yeah, cosmetically. They are really cool. And his uh, Max Air Fan went out and he couldn't create any flow. And he couldn't get the 50% flow like we can by having the windows open. And I'll tell you, he hated those windows by the end of the thing. And it's just one of those, it's like Absolutely. a preference, right? It's like cosmetic or form versus function. These windows may not have that pretty look on the outside because you're like, it looks like a regular window. Sure. But as soon as it gets 70 degrees and you can kick that window open and get a sea breeze through here, you're like, okay, exactly I love right. it. <laughs> we're going to find pros and cons to any feature. Yep. Uh, but yes, practicality is what we're looking for here. Yep. And it does make that camping experience a little more enjoyable and, yeah. and that's that's why we, we went that route yeah. um but yeah those frameless windows they look awesome they're great on a rainy day but if you're looking for airflow that's going to be difficult yeah that's your challenge that's it yeah so well good i hope you like this absolutely uh, thank yeah, you a lot of features i probably missed but this is one of our new all access floor plans we're excited about down here at the tampa show so come check us out awesome thank you